Hey, my name is Dan. I'm a member of the Pocket Suite product team, and one of my focus areas is our desktop app. Uh, so over the course of the last few months, you've probably seen updates to desktop, like uh, an updated uh, dashboard screen, kind of like this first screen right here with all of these record views and dashboard detail views. Um, we've been rounding out settings, and one of the next major chunks of work that we're going to get started on is um, what we're calling transactions. So allowing you to schedule clients, send out invoices, charge clients, um, you know, send out packages, subscriptions, that sort of thing. And the first, uh, the first project that we took on was this scheduling workflow. So we'll keep this quick, um, but you can see that there's a, a new schedule button that appears along with invoice and charge. Um, those will be coming soon. Uh, so they're inactive at first, but if you tap into schedule, you'll actually see a, um, a schedule screen that looks pretty similar to what you have in app. Uh, you have a client, which is a required field, so you can tap in, select a client. Uh, if you are on a team account, you can select pros. Um, I'll select myself here. It looks like I'm unavailable, so I'll see a, a, a warning here. Let's go ahead and tap through on that warning. Um, we can select a service. Um, I'll do an, an intake consultation, and I, I will add sales tax to that. Um, and then we'll leave everything else pretty much as it is, uh, with the exception of, um, we'll say I want to add a, a $10 deposit to, um, to the service, and I also want to add a $5 uh, fixed amount discount. Um, so yeah, everything else is pretty similar. Um, we'll say that this appointment is already confirmed. You know, Maybe I will only send it via text, I want them to be reminded um, 24 hours ahead of time. And then I want to follow up with them uh, four weeks afterwards to remind them to rebook. So I'll set a reminder for myself on that one. Um, and then everything else is, is pretty standard. Maybe I'll attach a, a form and uh, contract. Um, and then I can go ahead up here, tap next, and just basically, you know, review this appointment, make sure it's all good before sending it out. Um, I can view you know, any of the items that are attached to this appointment, um, you know, view team members that are attached to this appointment. But I'm going to go ahead and send the appointment. Uh, just confirm that with a confirmation pop-up here. And here we go. Uh, appointment confirmed. Uh, I can go view that appointment record screen on my calendar. Here's what it'll look like. Um, and we're also supporting the ability to edit appointments on this first time too. Uh, so I can go ahead and tap into that appointment, edit it. And, you know, for example, maybe change the time uh, to uh, October 7th at 8 a.m. Um, then go forward and just save that change. Yeah, excited to get scheduling out there. Let us know what you think in the comments. Uh, definitely excited to hear your feedback.